Microplastics found in human blood The world has been facing a plastic crisis in recent years. It has become one of the serious issues of global concern. Millions of tons of plastic waste are swirling all around the world. Now microplastics are contaminating the entire planet, as they are not biodegradable. Microplastics are plastic pieces that are less than 5 mm in diameter. Exposure to certain environmental conditions, such as heat, causes plastics to break down into smaller and smaller pieces creating microplastics. Microplastics have been found almost everywhere in water bodies, air, soil, and food chains. Now microplastics have also reached the human blood. According to research published in the Environment International Journal, microplastic pollution has been detected for the first time in human blood. Researchers from the Vrije University Amsterdam, and the Amsterdam University Medical Center analyzed blood samples from 22 healthy individuals. 17 of them, or, 77%, found microplastics. The total concentration of plastic particles in the blood of 22 donors averaged 1.6 micrograms per milliliter. A quarter of the donors tested did not have detectable amounts of plastic particles in their blood. In the analysis, the most commonly found plastic was PET, polyethylene terephthalate, plastic. Pet plastic was found in half, 50%, of the individual's blood samples. This type of plastic is commonly used in beverage bottles. While more than a third, about 36%, showed traces of polystyrene. Polystyrene is widely used for packaging disposable food containers and many other products. A quarter, about 23%, of the blood samples contained polyethylene. Polyethylene is what our regular-use plastic carry bags are made of. If the blood contains microplastic particles, they make their way anywhere in our body, as blood connects all parts of our body. However, scientists are not sure whether the consumed microplastics can put humans at health risk. Earlier studies have detected microplastic particles in the placenta of pregnant women. Various microplastics have been found in human feces too. But how does microplastic get into the body? Microplastics are small enough to float in the air and are inhaled when we breathe. They also come from health and beauty products, such as some cleansers, lip gloss, toothpaste, and tattoo inks. Microplastics have also been detected in drinking water, beer, and food products, including seafood and table salt. Synthetic fabrics are also a significant source of microplastics. As a pollutant, microplastics can be quite harmful to the environment and animal health. Thank you for watching. Please share this video.